Hello and welcome to the seventh Python game development with uh, Pygame and specifically Python 3 uh, tutorial video. In the last video, uh, we made these objects appear. They come at us, they start at random places, and you know, they move and whatnot. And in this video, what we want to do is we want to have something actually happen when we crash into these little objects because our objective here is to avoid the objects. Um, so we want to have some sort of handling for if we happen to run into them. So close out of this and we'll get started. So in our script, um, again, just like we have you know, these, this group of logic here, uh, we're gonna keep building on this group of logic. So uh, we'll come down uh, to this point and we'll create some logic. Now, this one's a little more challenging than hey, did the left side of the car cross or did the right side of the car cross or did the top of the object um, cross over the bottom. This one, a few things have to be the case. Um, and I think the best way to illustrate this is by like drawing it in paint or something. So here's paint, and um, we'll just say you know this is our car, <laughs> and uh, we'll make our car green on the inside just to uh, differentiate between um, the box, and then we have a box, and the box. Let's do this. You know, you've got a box, and as the box comes down, in order we have to ask a few questions. So if the box is here, um, this is like this layer here. Actually, we can use a line. <clears throat> you know, there's crossover here, but there's not crossover here. So it's so the box didn't hit. So um, the y is lower than the y, and it's crossing over the y of our object, whatever it is, so our main character, which is a race car. It's crossing over, but the x's aren't crossed over, so we don't have a collision here. Um, conversely, um, we could have this, right? And uh, we are actually within both bounds, like both walls, so we're within here. But we're not within the y x, so we're within the x's, but we're not within the y. At the same time, um, we can't ask if we're in both x's, but we have to ask if we're in one of the x's. So, for example, um, uh, let's see here. There we go. <laughs> anyway, this would be a collision, right? Um, and not because you know we're not in the way of. Um, you know, this one, obviously, they're not lined up, but this one is the collision, right? So we have to check whether it's hitting this one or it's hitting this one, and it's also got to be hitting the Y. So one of the sides and the Y has to be hit. So that's the kind of logic that we have to build. So I'm not going to say that. Um, so now we'll come over here, <clears throat> and so now we're going to start asking some questions for our logic. So the first thing we want to ask is if, if, the, if the tip of the car is higher um, which means less than, really, in, in, the, in, in, in with uh, y, right? So we're asking if y, if the x is, or if the car's y position is higher or has a less lesser y value than the y of the box, the bottom of the box, um, we might have a collision there. So we'll say if y is less than thing underscore start y. Now, I know we called this variable thing start y, but we only did that just at the very beginning. But now thing start y is like the position it starts from before it gets modified, basically. But anyway, thing start y plus thing underscore height. So thing start y, shoot, we closed our, um, our paint. Let me open up paint again. But uh, thing start y, if we had a box, right? So here's our box. Things start y is up here. It's asking if this is lower than um, our race car, which is here, right? But we actually want to know if this is crossing over the race car. So if any point of this is less than the race car, that's when we really want to know if there's some crossover going on. So in fact, uh, I'm going to keep this open for now. Um, so that's what we're asking right now: is if that if the bottom um, line and really. Uh, what we're asking is not uh, if we just if we didn't do the image height it would be like this mark here um, but actually we're asking if this whole thing right because it's 
just the y right so if that is crossing um our car's top um if that's the case then we might have crossover but not necessarily right so this we would just say uh we'll just say print step one and what this is just going to do is it's going to output to our console that mm, you know we, we're finding we're saying there's some crossover here so for example we can run this and here is our game and as it was going of course you couldn't see it on mine but hopefully on yours you could see um a, as the box started to come below um here we go uh at this point right as it's crossing over it starts spamming out step one step one step one right so we've got y crossover so we could actually change this to y uh, crossover. Now, um, the next thing we need to know is if the X's are um, crossing over. So the question is here uh, is if X is greater than thing underscore start X and so if the X is greater than um, this X. So and then keep in mind, X is the location of our car. So let's say this is our car. We're asking if the top left of our car here is greater than uh, here, basically. So if, if X is uh, greater than that, which basically means if, if as long as it's not like past the car pretty much. So if X is greater than things start X and um, well, this one's going to be kind of a long, long one, so we have to ask multiple questions, but stick with me. So if that's the case, um, so basically if, if the object is possibly crossing, if that, then, if that's the case, and x is less than thing underscore start x plus thing, oops, thing, thing start x plus thing underscore width so again the X's are, are the horizontal movement basically so if this if X is less than um, the start X which is here plus the width so that's here okay so we have to be less than okay and then the question is um, if X is less than thing start X plus uh, thing width or oops not capital or not capital or or x plus car underscore width um is greater than so x plus car width so we're asking now x plus car width is this point right here if x plus car width is greater uh greater than thing underscore start x so uh, let me make this a little, um, let me make the text smaller. We're still going to go off the screen, but um, it'll be a little easier to see. So let's um, move this and move this down. Okay. So, and, so we've got if this and this or this um, or x plus car width is greater than uh, thing underscore star x and x plus car underscore width is less than so this is asking if that was greater than start x but then we also need to know if x plus car width is less than thing underscore start x plus the thing width so basically we're asking if we're within the boundaries of this and this because we have to be within somewhere within those boundaries um, in order for this to actually occur but as I was saying before uh, that's a collision fully being within the boundaries is a collision and then being over here would still be a collision so you have to kind of keep this in mind anyway if all of that is the case um, then we'll say print um, X crossover and then at this point we institute a crash okay so let's save that and let me just fix my window and now let's run that and see how we do 
So we have a little car. First, we want to make sure we can avoid and then cross over like that. Um, and it looks like we can. And now let's go ahead and have a crash. Okay, so we crashed there. Easy enough. Uh, let's check the other side of a crash. Uh, caught it. <laughs> nice. So we crashed there, as expected. Um, and I'm trying to think of any other... The other thing, you just want to check like if you were to like drive over it right away. That's kind of helpful. Or if you're under it, but then you get out from it. That would be uh, another instance. Now, the crash I just had, the problem with that, even though it doesn't look like we crashed, it's because our, our image is 73 pixels wide because we had to make a box around our car. Um, and that's just, yeah, there it is again. And it really would have hit the rear tire, I suppose you could make the argument. Um, but because we're calling our image really a square, um, that's why we're actually still having a collision here. Anyway, um, so the next thing, let's see. I guess we could, we could cut it off at, at this point. So, so now we have some boxes to avoid. Um, and you know, that's okay, you know, we can keep playing that, but this, this game is relatively boring. Um, it's easy to skip the boxes. Generally, the way a game is made is the first few levels or the first, like, you know, few seconds at least, um, are gonna be easy. It gets the player kind of acclimated to how the game works, but then it, the challenge is escalated. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna kind of escalate the challenge. Also, there's really no, no tracking here, like how good are we doing, like anything like that. So we want to have some sort of scoring system as well. So we want a scoring system and then also um, increasing of some sort of difficulty making this more and more challenging. So that's what we're going to be doing uh, in the next video. So if you guys have any questions or comments on this one, uh, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.